I wanna take a moment and just give you a kingdom perspective of everything that's been going on around us. I've always tried to take the Bible and weave it into my personal life and then, well, the influence of everything around me and figure out what in the world is going on from a faith standpoint. Many of you may remember, if you're old enough, back in the 80s, we were struggling with a pandemic called AIDS. And even back then, I was questioning, how does the Bible fit into all this? How does my faith fit into all of this? Well, fast forward 40 years later, here we are in 2020 with a pandemic problem. And I've done the same thing that I always try to do. Before I panic, get in fear, I just always ask God, would you give me wisdom how to live my life in this time? And so I just wanna give you that insight that I've learned from me personally, maybe it'll help you. First, it's a great time to look at ourselves personally. So when this thing hit, I kind of looked into myself personally, what is going on? And it's been a great object lesson. I mean, just a week ago, my life went like this. I would call my wife, what are you doing? And she would say, well, I'm picking the kid up from school. And then I would say, well, what are you doing next? And she would say, well, I'm dropping off at gym. I would call her later, where are you going? I'm dropping off at cheer. Where are you going? I'm picking up from dance. Where are you going? I'm going to, and it was just a constant, I'm always going to do something. I think we were all really, really super busy with sports. Even in my own family, cheer, gymnastics, um, dance, all the things that go on, homework. And we find ourselves maybe Truthfully, God just gets the leftovers. I mean, I'm super busy and I've got a lot going on. And well, we make excuses. I've even been doing Bible reading videos here lately and I start this way. Hey, I hope to inspire you to read the Bible. Zero excuse. And even though it's kind of funny over and over, hey, zero excuses. The truth of the matter is this, man, we're loaded with excuses. And that's what I've been seeing in my own personal life because this new normal well, you have no more excuse, really. How busy can we be when we've been asked to be quarantined in our own homes and social distance ourselves? But because we're humans, we can get just as busy having a new normal. Now we're just busy scrolling, we're busy uh, you know, on the computer, busy doing house chores. So the thing I've learned personally in this, and I would ask you to look at the same, man, how busy have you been? And is God just getting your leftovers? You remember the parable in Luke 14? There's a banquet given, everybody's got an excuse. Dude, I bought a cow, I just got married, I'm not gonna be there. And I think God is always asking us to draw closer to him. He's always pursuing us to lean in more to him. And what I'm finding out is, well, here lately, with a lot of Christians in our faith, he's just getting the leftovers. He's getting whatever leftover energy I have, whatever leftover time I have, whatever leftover money I have. And I think a great analogy for all of us in this moment is just, I think God's sick of getting the leftovers. I think he wants to get the first. He wants to be first place, seek first the kingdom of God. So as I've been going out on my prayer walks and man, looking at myself internally, I've really been judging me, like how much of my energy is given to me versus given to God? How much of my finances am I really you know, for my own self and my own desires versus how much of that am I really using to better God's kingdom? And that's what I want you to think about today is let's just start with you. Let's take the thread of the crisis in front of us. Let's weave it into our personal life and just ask that question. What is God trying to show me in all of this? What excuse am I going to give him back? I bought a cow, I have a wedding. It's amazing to me. Every excuse we could have used last week is almost null and void. There are no baseball events to go to. There are no soccer events to go to, gymnastics events, cheerleading events, dance events, sporting events. Well, there's really not much we can even claim anymore that we've got to go here or there. You're actually being encouraged by the government to stay home. How weird is that? Maybe it's just a great object lesson for everybody that calls themselves a Christian and has faith. Perhaps this whole thing is a great moment to ask one question, not are you going to die and how terrible this is going to be. Let's leave that to all the doctors and all the medical science. Let's ask this about our kingdom selves and our Christian faith. Is God getting the leftovers in your life? 
because I think he's kind of tired of it. And I think he wants to put himself back in first place to where all of the other things that have taken place, all of the other things that have drained our finances, our energy and our time, and then he has kind of carried around in our hip pocket getting whatever meager piece of my life is left over. I believe it's a good time to look inward and ask, am I giving God all of my meager leftovers or will I really sit back and reflect, is it a time for my faith to grow like never before? Hey, I'm always praying for you. I hope you just have a great time, like in quarantine, just loving on Jesus, man. Love on your family, on your 50 feet. I'll see you soon.